27 souls fed, one team received 90 votes, and the other team received 37. And the winning team is... because for one, it's been the coolest challenge ever, being on the set of Glee, and we won by a huge margin. Thank you for picking a good team. Hey, red team. How the is that even possible? Blue team, yes, you know what's next. You will now face the dreaded pressure test. I'm baffled, not because we lose, because we lose by that much. Congratulations! <laughs> I'm just sick of being in pressure tests. Like, I really am. I'm sick of people like Jesse just floating by, never having to be in a pressure test. Let's not, let's not lose our cool, though. We lost, and you know what I mean? Let's, it is what it is, man. I'm pissed off. I think I let my team down by not producing more chicken, but really, there was only so much I could do, you know? Only so much. This can be interesting because when I saved myself, Chrissy went nuts and she thought I was a little bitch for doing that. Now it's Chrissy's turn to be on the hot seat. Let's see how she performs. Yesterday, you had that amazing chance to cook for the cast and crew of Glee. And the blue team, you were not able to handle that glare of the spotlight. The red team, led by Jesse, took full advantage of their big Hollywood moment. Uh, well done. Chrissy, what went wrong? The chicken didn't cook. The thighs just weren't done. Who was responsible for the chicken? Right here, Chef. You actually beat the red team hands down. 56 portions of chicken and 30 preferred your chicken. Whoa, now I'm not feeling so responsible. I was a strong asset to my team. Who was responsible for the salmon? Between the red team and the blue team, you served 54 portions of salmon. 50. Two out of 54 preferred the red team salmon. Two votes. You won the chicken, and you got destroyed with the salmon. What the f Jordan? You had one job to make that salmon great, and you put out a pile of Seven of you competed as a team in your last challenge, but not all of you will be competing in this pressure test. Chrissy? Yes. That decision will be made entirely by you. Out. The rules are simple. Save as many or as few of your team as you like. You must save at least one person, and at least two people must compete. Clear? Clear. This is my game at this point. I know exactly who I'm targeting. Johnny, step forward. Chrissy, is Johnny safe or into the pressure test? Hey, Johnny, go take that stairway to heaven. Thank you. Bethy, step forward. Chrissy, upstairs or downstairs? I'd be honest with you, Bethy is a threat to me. I'm keeping her in the pit. James, step forward, please. Chrissy. I know by keeping him down here, he's going to knock out people that I want to go home. He's staying down here. Natasha, step forward, please. She's safe. Safe? Wow. Upstairs. I am shocked. Her and I did not like each other. I have no idea what's going on in her head. I want her to think that I'm on her side. I'm not. You know, that whole keep your enemies closer thing. I got you, Natasha. Beamy, step forward, please. Chrissy. Now that you've got the stats and you understood how substantial that chicken was, what are you thinking? I think Beamy did a great job yesterday, but his luck's running out. Beamy stays. Wow, I got the majority of the votes for our team. Talk about a bitch move. Anything that happened yesterday, it doesn't matter to me. He could have a golden goose egg out. I want him going. Jordan, step forward. Upstairs or downstairs? He's staying down here. I got to get my competition out of here. Step back, please. Chrissy, 
Are you balls enough to stay down, compete in the pressure test, or are you staying safe on the balcony? Think about it. The only thing that comes into my mind is my kid. And my kid would say, you had a chance to save yourself for us, and you didn't take it, and you went home on that. I can, I'm not going to disappoint my kid. Jordan, any vindication here? I just find it funny how much jaw she had to give me when I did it. They already don't like me, so I really don't care what they think. My kid would want me to go up them stairs, and that's what I'm doing. Chrissy, you hypocritical bitch. Wow. I'm doing this for my son. Oh, right, right. You're the only person who has someone at home that they love that they're doing this for. Got it. Are you ready to get cooking for your lives? Yes, yes chef. chef. The dish that will determine your MasterChef future. Lemon meringue pie. I've never made lemon meringue pie before. I don't even eat lemon meringue pie. I suck at making lemon meringue pies. The secret is in that base, that nice, firm, salt crust pastry. Then you've got that delicious, acidic lemon curd, and then that baked meringue. And the secret of that meringue is to make sure it doesn't weep. Get it wrong by a gram of sugar, that can go absolutely pear-shaped. But there's one tiny twist. No lemons. A no lemon meringue pie. That's right. You'll have to make a citrus meringue pie with any citrus fruit other than lemons. Good luck with that. I've never felt this nervous in this competition. I'm my pants right now. It's time to head to your stations, please. Let's go. You have 90 minutes to bake us one stunning lemon meringue pie without the lemon. In front of you, you all have the same exact ingredients. You will also have access to a not-so-limited, limited pantry where you will find a variety of citrus fruits. Your 90 minutes starts now. OK, you have 90 minutes to create the pie, crust, curd, and meringue. How do you divide up your time? So the first 15 minutes would be making the crust, getting that set. After that, I would put on my citrus fruit to reduce down to start making the curd. But you've got to get that balance between the curd and the sweetness and the meringue as well. The egg white can stay right at the last minute. With 10 minutes to go, you can start whipping up your uh, meringues. Jordan, hey, so, what flavor are you making? I'm going to do a uh, key lime and uh, regular lime uh, curd for the pie. Chrissy's right above you. She's the reason why you're down here. I find it pretty hypocritical that she gave me such a hard time. Yeah. She didn't know how it is to be in the hot seat. And she talks a big talk, but then she gets in the hot seat and shuts her ass up. And that's, that's what I expected to happen. Guys, please get your pastry in the oven. All right, James, pastry's not in the oven yet. Yeah. Why not? I'm getting a rolling pin to put it in right now, chef. Hurry up, let's go. You've got to get that in the oven. Hey, Beamy. What's going on, guys? Your first meringue pie? Yes, sir. I'm making a lime meringue pie. Don't let that break, Beamy. No, definitely not, chef. Careful, careful. What in the hell? What the f am I doing? <laughs> this is too soft. I have my cornstarch in there, and I'm whisking and whisking, and I'm looking down, and I'm thinking, this curd is not thickening up yet. Like, what's going on? The curd is still watery. It's not the consistency I'm looking for. But I'm thinking, let me put this in the refrigerator, then hopefully it'll, it'll get some thickness to it, because I got to start working on this meringue. Look at this. So I start working on this meringue, and then I pick up the, the cream of tartar to put into my uh, meringue. Oh, And when I look, I realize this is cornstarch. This is why my curd didn't come together. Exactly what I want to happen is happening. And I'm loving every minute of it. Hi, baby. <laughs> 15 minutes to go, guys. Look at this. Put lemon cream of tartar instead of cornstarch. Oh, 
I pick up the, the cream of tartar to put into my meringue, and when I look, I realize this is cornstarch. This is why my curd didn't come together. But the only way you lose is if you give up on yourself. I'm not giving up without a fight. OK, Bethy? Yeah, feeling yep. good. My crust is a little buttery than I wanted. Yeah, the pastry looked raw. Was it raw? Um, it was cooked, but maybe I should have cooked it a little bit longer. But that feels wet there, so be very, very careful, then. OK. Very careful. Let's go, guys. But this time, your pie should be in the oven and that meringue baking. Cool. Got it in the oven. Now, though. Perfect timing. James, you have to be very careful here. He's leaving all of his to the last minute. James. You're not leaving yourself any time to bake the meringue in the oven. I'm really cutting myself pretty short. Last two minutes, guys. 60 seconds to go. What is James doing? What is he waiting for? 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm running out of time, but I don't have any options. I'm trying to fix it, so I'm torching, but my pie looks like Six, five, four, three, two, yep. one, and stop. <laughs> Chrissy, from up there in the gallery, what do you think? Exactly what I wanted to happen happened. That was a very tough pressure test. Three. Very difficult, demanding stages that you need to nail every step of the way, 100%. All four of you, please bring them down to the front. Yeah. On top, the pie looks OK. But I know on the inside that dough is not cooked, the egg whites are not perfect, and there's definitely not enough curd in there. I might be going home today. So what's the flavor? Uh, blood orange and lime. Why those two? Well, I wanted to kind of mix the flavors up between the two and find something that was sweet and tart, and I figured the blood orange and lime would be a good combo. So just take a look under there. See that damp patch? So that is a raw pie crust on the bottom. <sighs> Way. Insufficient curd. The pastry doesn't taste too bad, but your saving grace there is the curd. That actually tastes quite nice. Egg white, not cooked all the way. Yeah. What happened there? Ran out of time. Just needed five more minutes. This is not impressive at all. Very disappointing. Hey, Betty. Hey. What's going through your mind right now? I'm disappointed in my outcome. I hope I don't leave from it. Yeah, but, I mean, visually beautiful. And it should be making a nice crunch as it goes through. I've never successfully made anything like this before, so... I mean, obviously, you still haven't. I like the actual flavor of the curd with the tanginess, but now, if this is your foundation, it falls like a deck of cards, or in this case, a lime meringue pie. All right. Badly thought out. The pastry's raw there. I knew you were <laughs> the minute you put that curd on top of a raw pastry. What a mess. That is the grossest pie I've ever seen in my life. I'm probably going home tonight. All right, Jordan, what is it? Uh, I did the regular lime and some key limes to balance out the acidity of the regular lime. Looks the prettiest. The crust a little thin and raw, but it's still kind of held together pretty good. I like your curd a lot. It's got the right texture. 
good lime flavor. It's definitely the best cake I've tasted so far. I was giddy like a little schoolgirl when I saw you pulling this out of the oven. Because, I mean, look at the curd. That's nice and even. It's like the height that it's supposed to be. The curd's got a great texture. A little sweet. But good job. OK, beam me. I'm completely fearing elimination right now. Bottom line, it comes down to whether Beamy royally screwed up or not. Oh, Beamy. Wow. OK, Beamy. Yes, Chef. Oh, Beamy. Wow. What's the flavoring? The flavoring is, um, is lime. Lime? Yeah. Oh dear. What have you done here? Huh? Well, I mean, car didn't set, didn't. You've been to a cocktail bar, right? Cheers. Good health. Me. <laughs> what is that in there? What's the grainy bits? Cream of tartar. <laughs> yeah, I messed up. I grabbed the wrong thing, and I just started throwing it in there. What are you trying to do, kill us? In the recipe, it's like a teaspoon. How many tablespoons? Like. Almost like 10. I was, 10. Because I'm like, time is running out, then. Time running out? Yeah, something's running through my mouth. I messed up, man. It was a mistake. It was something stupid I did. Embarrassing, man. Time to watch. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, just give us a moment, please. Thank you. I didn't say sorry, man. I feel your pain. Jordan's the best. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, I don't know about Betty's. Her pastry was real. Weepy I mean, and, just, yeah, the curd really was kind of busted. But the curd didn't taste anything. It had no identity. No flavor. You wouldn't yeah. have known what it was. If you closed your eyes and said, what does that taste like? You wouldn't like have just sweet, it. sweet pudding. Yeah. At least James went out of the box and did blood orange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You ready? Jordan, step forward, please. We saw you handle pressure in a way that outshone your fellow competitors. Make your way upstairs, please. Thank you. Take your apron off. James, step forward, please. That's one of the worst dishes cooked in this competition so far. Your saving grace tonight, young man, is that there were two worse pies than yours. Upstairs. That was horrifying, but I lived to fight another day. Bethy, be me. This is really difficult. You both are talented home cooks, without a doubt, let me tell you. Be me. Yeah. It's time, young man, to take that apron off and leave the MasterChef competition. You good, girl. Keep doing yourself. Beamy, listen carefully. You walked into this competition and blew us away. The growth and the level of excitement that you gave us has been extraordinary. You shouldn't be leaving this competition tonight. You know that. So you walk out this kitchen, you keep your head up high, and you follow your dream. Got it? Yes, Chef. Good man. Come here, you. Thank you, everyone. That was a pleasure, man. I'm very happy with the results. Mission accomplished. For me to make this dumb mistake, it's costing this competition, and it's like, 
I let the judges down, you know? That's the worst part. But um, the dream definitely doesn't die here. I'm leaving with the belief and the tools to become something special. I think that my daughters are going to be proud of their daddy. That's all I want. I'm glad that I, that I did good for them, you know what I mean? Next time on MasterChef, it's a gruesome mystery box challenge. Oh, there are children who will not sleep tonight. And last year's winner, Christine Ha, returns. It's incredibly inspiring. With a surprising twist. You're going to be cooking this challenge without sight. Oh, my God. And the kitchen erupts when two heavyweights go head to head. If you want to talk behind my back, I have the balls to say it up here in front of me. I said I knew it. For me, you're done. One potato, two potato.